What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and we're back in Space Engineers and today I wanted to do a video that's a little bit different to what I would normally do. It's something I've done once before and maybe I should do more often. But anyway, I will be, today I'll be showcasing a creation that isn't one of mine. So what we're going to look at today is something made by Nick Mick, who some of you may remember as the winner of the whole creation contest that I had for my mini golf course. So we've already seen some of his work, which was pretty cool. Uh, he made the beach attack and the castle assault maps, just in case you were wondering. And he's, I've been in contact with him since, since I gave him his prize, and he's kind of been talking backwards and forth and showing me a project he's been working on, which is what we have here. So hopefully you've kind of worked out what we've got going on already, but jumping straight in, I'll give you a sort of tour of the features of this thing. So this is probably the best player controllable bipedal mech I've ever seen. Um, it's entirely done by programming and rotors. There's a few mods in here, but if we just jump into the cockpit, you can see the, co the seat here is in fact one of those mods. And I can close the top and we'll go into the external view. So he's shutting the lid up there, which in itself is kind of cool. And as you can see, we've got a little bit of limited movement at the moment, but that's because we're in offline mode. So I can now hit button eight to essentially activate the robot. And as you can see, he stands up to attention, fully activated, very much like, um, is it Ed 209? Robot from Robo uh, Robocop. I mean, yeah. This guy even moves a bit like him, so I'll use this slightly odd spectator camera to give you an idea, just that we stay locked on. And look at that articulation. It's, there's so much detail in how he moves. Each joint has, clearly, he's put a lot of time into each individual joint this guy's got. And he's got the proper joints. You know, you've got the ankle, you've got the foot, you've got the knee, you've got the hip, and that's how it's all been put together. And yeah, I'll, I'll keep wandering along as I'm jabbering about how cool this is, because I really do think this is cool. It's got uh, mech warrior written all over it basically look at this thing uh, that is as far as I'm concerned that is an atlas from uh, mech warrior I think that was what they were called it's been a long time since I played it but yeah he claims it was nothing to do with that and the inspiration comes from elsewhere but for me this is straight out of mech warrior and it's damn awesome for it so another thing it can do firstly if I turn to the side here and hit the, the two button again to trigger the walk uh, or the step I should say he is instead because we're pointing sideways going to actually do a little turn so this has got like really, really clever full range of movement. Can't go backwards, but in reality you should never need to because he's capable of turning kind of on the spot like this. So we can spin ourselves round a little bit. This is a little more clunky than moving forwards, I'll admit. But the other thing you can do is you probably noticed his arms are moving independently now. Uh, and that's because if I just reset the view round like that, if we aim upwards, you can see they're actually aiming higher than the body's pointing. And that's part of what he's done to make this thing have a greater range of sort of usable movement, is the rotor in the middle for his body and the rotor for the arms are combined together using some nifty programming to create, and yeah, if you look, the arms actually kind of move independently of the body as well as the body moving. It's a really cool little movement. Um, so yeah, there's so sort of externally that's the deal there's a, obviously we've got a proper armament on armament on here minigun on one side and then on the right side you'll notice there's a rocket launcher bank now that's got an extra trick to it so if we go inside and drop into this view you'll notice that yep we have a fully functional hud and i think even his intention was for you to be able to actually drive the craft just from this screen because you notice we've got a distance and that's actually the distance to what we're looking at using that clever sensor grid on the front and then you've got an elevation angle, so you can see we're pointing down right now. And as we come up, the distance figure is going to disappear because there's nothing in front of us. Uh, and then we've got at the bottom an angle of... Which one's that? I, I, I can't remember which one that is. Someone can correct me in the comments. But you can see where we're pointing, essentially, by combining those things together. But we've also got two other screens. So on the right-hand side, we've got this pods active. And by pressing 6, I can change how many of those rocket launchers are going to shoot at any given time which is just a cool, neat little feature. And then you've also got the movement check thing, and that's basically going to tell us from inside the cockpit how quickly we can press two. So, oh, in fact, no, I think it tells us how far we've moved. Ah, Nick Mick will have to get back to me on that one. I initially thought it was a, a counter to tell us how quickly we could press the button, but apparently it is something else. Interesting. Anyway, moving on from that, as that's not a particularly interesting bit, I think this is... One of the coolest creations I've seen in Space Engineers. I love how it looks. I love how it functions. I think you should all go download it, give it a try, st stomp around. Yeah, everyone's got a base world. Spawn one of these things in. You'll probably need to check the mods list. There are He's only used three, but it's worth checking them. 
uh, spawn one of these things in, and then go stomp around your own base and wreck some destruction and havoc. It's hilariously good fun. And, I mean, just look at this thing move. It might be a little bit clunky because, in the end, this is space engineers, rotors, and gravity. Take that into account for a second. This is rotors. You know those things that like to bug out and explode? That's what's doing it. So, yeah, I, I still find it incredibly impressive. I've loved seeing it go forward, and I'd really like you guys to go and give Nick Mick some love on the workshop. Tell him how cool his creation is and download it. Give it a try. Have a play with it. See if you can suggest any improvements, too. So cheers, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you found this interesting, enjoyable. If you did, please hit like, please hit share. It really helps me and the channel out. Do not forget to go and give Nick Mick just as much love as well, because, of course, this is his work, not mine. And otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.